number seven. Let children be children. Whee! Darwin here. Hey, look at me. I'm down here in Abbeville, Louisiana, and we're here to pick up our whaley boat. Yep, our whaley boat. I'm so excited. I got to come and one trying to stray out of trouble, but well, <laughs> you know how that goes. Hello from Wally Boats USA. We are picking up our tender. Actually, Kyle driving the forklift is picking up our tender. That's about 606 pounds of boat right there. And not just a boat, but a Yamaha 50 horsepower engine all loaded in. This is Kyle. You also talk to Kern if you do a call, right? And yes. They are the guys that can answer questions about Wally Boats. There you go. I want to call them Wally Boats all the time. I'll get it right. I swear I will. And Kyle was worried about scratching the boat by loading it on here without the pallet. I explained to him that this is the best day this boat's going to have. So this is it. It's one of, these are built-in seats, and it's got flotation in here, right? There's air in, up top. Free foam inside. And there's inside these benches here, too? Yes. So if I ran into a rock and I could possibly hold this boat, would it sink? It's not sinking. Because of the foam? Correct. It's closed cell foam, then. Closed cell foam. It's not even going to sink years later, then. So this boat is with us for life. And these are cool. These are benches. You can screw them into the bottom and put your storage in there. You can take them back out. This one has the fuel tank down inside there, engine mount back there, and it's self-bailing, right? Yes, sir. Self-bailing means the water drains out of it. There's no need for a bilge pump. The hull on this is made of polyethylene, and they have a few of them here. We are in Abbeville, Louisiana. It's like a whale, okay? Whaley, I can remember it that way, the yeah. whaley. And we have the R, which is a professional. Tell me what the professional means. Professional means you have a little bit more spray foam on the inside. Yeah. Yes. And the hulls, it's the same hull? Just same more hull, spray foam. Just more spray foam throughout. A regular one has spray foam to here. Right. These have spray foam higher up. All the way up. Okay, so that gives us a little more weight, but more flotation if we tear the hole open. Definitely. Has anybody ever torn a hole open? Never. I'm going to give it my best. It's my goal in life. That is a challenge. We will try to open this hole up. I swear. You, there's videos of them hitting them with axes and driving four wheelers across them. It is just a wonderful boat. So they're made in Holland? Holland. And they were made North, North Sea work. So that's why they're so tough. Yeah. And then you guys started selling them in the United States. Yeah, we started importing them into New Orleans. Right. Definitely a strong boat. Yeah, so you, you could hit. But there's not a lot of rocks in New Orleans. Not a lot of rocks. They got cypress knees here. Yeah, oh, that's true. This is the other reason I love this boat. Hand holes and a footstep on both the holes in the back. So you're getting it back on board. It's not that hard. Ropes all the way around. But look, it's got some bungees and some chains, and you undo that and pull down the front, and you've got a landing craft. The chains become the structure for it, and you can actually stand on that, I bet. And it floats 400 too. pounds. 400 pounds? Yeah. That'll even hold me. Yeah, that is fantastic. You have sold me the right boat. So Billy and Darwin are back here. They're ready to go. There she is, and she's coming home. All right, we're getting ready to cross the Mississippi. If you like bridges, Southern Louisiana is a place for you. It's got a lot of bridges. Busy down here. Look at that water flow. Gosh. There's a current there. It's about halfway between Baton Rouge and New Orleans. Yeah. Well, now we're going to go down. What is a steep bridge? That's cool. Crossing the Mississippi again. We'll come underneath that one. Love bridges. Did I say that already? I think I said that already. Okay, we're not just collecting a boat. We're taking a little vacation too. And we have stopped here today at the Whitney Plantation. This is a fantastic place. It's not the plantation you go to if you want to see how the white people lived. It's the plantation you go to if you want to see how the slaves lived. That's what this plantation focuses on. And it is a very rich story. And I really think you ought to take the time to do it. Best thing we've done so far. Hundreds of barges stacked up along the side here. What a sight. We're traveling along the river road. Look at that plantation back in there. Isn't that beautiful? Run, Forrest, run. Another bridge. Barges and ships. Don't go away. Don't be angry. Come on. There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. 
Peel, peel. Oh. Ow! <laughs> My God, that's no way to treat people at the table. Nice <laughs> Jesus! Here goes. Here goes. You ready? <laughs> oh, <wow>. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right He's making right it easy for you. It's on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Sure oh, about him. Yeah, oh, did he get it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> time to get serious on feeding time. Ready, Darwin? Yeah, I'm ready to pet the right. gators. Oh. 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 Wee! Uh-oh, here comes another one. Oh, you got three. Yellow. He's coming in fast. Look at that. Oh, he oh, oh, didn't get it. Oh, here, get it again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going for Darwin. <laughs> I don't know. You don't think they're looking for the hot dog anymore? <gasps> oh, oh, God, he ate Darwin. I killed him, Darwin. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Oh, he did. How are we ever going to catch him again? I oh, I'm not going after him. I feel terrible now that we, like, killed Darwin. Phew, that was a close one. Good thing I learned to hold my breath. No. Really? What really? if I held him and you touched no. him? No. Little pet. I have no desire. Right the tail. To just, the, just the tail right there. It was super oh. nice. Just feel it. Oh, Isn't that smooth? Oh. Somehow they don't feel like that when they get older, do they? They feel the exact same way. Oh. Okay, I did it. <laughs> you did good. The bone, send it to a university. They report back to me, hey Leo, your animal's this age. I will tell you, Big Lou is 60 to 70 years old. Amazing. Yes, it is absolutely worth the stop. Hey, you folks from Louisiana, you got a beautiful state. Really have enjoyed it. Thank you. But the bathrooms are filthy. Yeah, clean the bathrooms and put some toilet paper in. And we were bitching about the restrooms in Louisiana. We're back in Oklahoma. <laughs> All right, Brandy came down and helped me launch the boat today. Towboat US. Look how high she rides in the water. That's why she can carry 1,500 pounds of stuff. Oh, let me get these bunks out of there. We don't need those. Yeah, let's do a stability test. Ah, she goes down. That's not too bad. Ah, she's stable as can be. You're doing a fine job there. We're going down the wheelchair ramp. As long as the wind doesn't shift, we'll be fine on this side. Never sees on the shaft. Thrust washer. Propeller. Spacer. Washer. Unusual washer. Propeller nut. Propeller nut. I used to call them crown nuts. They look like crowns to me. 25. Now we gotta make sure it lines up with a hole. Okay, cutter key. the new dinghy is in place from the davits we can actually bring it a little closer into the boat that'll make boarding it easier and look at this we didn't even come down in the water as much as i thought we would that's looking good i like it there we can live with that still got some work to do on it got to attach the tiller arm and hook up the fuel and the battery and all that got to buy a battery for it but uh i like what we got so for me and brandon that's the singer goodbye Y'all take care, and remember, what'd you make today? Take us some photos. <laughs>